we appreciate you making the trip out here today to Valley View Stables, and uh, we're so excited to finally get the opportunity to celebrate with Amy on the uh, grand opening of the facility here and the programs that she's going to be starting and continuing. Yes. Uh, but because of COVID, we um, had delayed the ribbon cutting. So again, we appreciate you being here. We appreciate the investment that Amy has made in the community and uh, it continues to make here uh, at this location uh, with the various different businesses. So we congratulate you and at this time it's my pleasure to introduce Jonathan Eric who's going to say a few words on behalf of the Chamber. Uh, thank you, Teresa. Um, on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors, I would like to welcome everybody and thank you for being here and congratulate everyone here for all the hard work and energy that they've poured into to this venture, uh, having been back and forth, whether it be boarding dogs or, or, or coming to look at some, some potential members of our family. Uh, I know what they've done here and I think it's, it's a wonderful addition to all the beautiful outdoor things that we have here in the Allegheny Highlands. So very thankful to be here today and also very thankful for this gorgeous fall day. So, uh, Without further ado, we do have some other folks that would like to say a few things uh, from the city of Covington. We have Mayor Tom Seibold. Amy, thank you for what you do for the Allegheny Highlands. Just on behalf of the city of Covington, we appreciate you. I see your dog grooming services around Covington all the time. I know how much interest you have in the animals and how well you take care of them. And just appreciate what you offer people. Uh, friends of mine bring their kids up here for horseback lessons. And they're, they're really enjoying it. It's, just, it's awesome what you're doing. Just thank you so much. And from Allegheny County, a man that knows a few things about what goes on up here, Steve Penn. I drive by every once in a while. Uh, <laughs> no, it, uh, i got to give Amy credit. It's her idea. She wanted to do it. So, of course, family's helped a little bit, but she's done 99% of it. Um, I said one time when we had an opening for uh, the animal rescue that she got her love for animals and taking care of stuff from her mother. Drink over here. Every time we find something or cripple something, farming or logging, we bring it to her. She takes care of it. And uh, I have a saying: she'd take care of anything. And to prove my point, hell, she married me. So, <laughs> that, that proves the point right there. Uh, the only thing I would add is if uh, once you had your sandwich, stick around a little bit. We're gonna bail some hay here in a few minutes. <laughs> uh, sure could use some help. Sure could use some help. Yeah. Thanks for coming. And from the Allegheny Highlands Economic Development Corporation, Terry McClellan. Amy, we appreciate your investment here. Thank you for all the stories you shared. Um, gosh, this is such a beautiful place. And your utmost compassion for these animals, just thank you. If there's ever anything EDC can do, do not hesitate to reach out. Can I say one more thing? Absolutely. It's a beautiful place. That I told a couple on the way. I'll tell a story on it. She must have been, I don't know. Somewhere in high school. Came home one day all upset because uh, a lot of the kids at school were making fun of her for living in Rich Patch. I told her, yeah, tell everybody it's a miserable place to live. Just don't ever come, just stay away. You don't even want to drive through up here. And uh, nah, we're lucky that we started up here, the whole family still here. It's beautiful. Thanks for coming. Yep. And last but certainly not least, Amy, do you have any closing remarks? Uh, I appreciate everybody coming today. Uh, this is another break off from what we started years ago. I originally started Valley View Pets to help board animals and groom animals. From there, we felt the need to start a rescue, and we started with dogs and cats several years ago. And uh, Actually, my dad doesn't realize it. My love for horses and animals come from my mom, but my dad and I talked years ago about starting a trail riding and a camping business, and it always stuck in the back of my head. And my mom and I actually went to Kentucky looking for horses that we could use for trail riding, but with my love of rescue, I developed a need to reuse horses that needed new homes. So all of the horses that we use in our program are actually donated rescue horses that we use. So I like to repurpose and reuse animals that need homes and I hope to give kids in the community a place to go. But I also want for special needs people or adults to come ride, people that rode when they were a kid that haven't got to ride again. Horses are 
such a therapeutic thing to be around and you don't have to learn to jump or run barrels or anything, just coming and bonding and riding and then learning to go out on trails. Uh, I do know a gentleman that has a beautiful piece of land that has some wonderful trails on it that if you ever would like to go for a trail ride, uh, you start from here and you learn the lessons of it and then we have places to go to ride. So it's a great therapy outlet and even from the beginners, we teach kids about colors, matching colors on rings and buckets and balance and exercise to the adults that just, have, they've worked all week and need something to get away from. So we welcome anybody and everybody to come and I appreciate everybody coming today. You said two things, can I add to it? Number one, I never thought about it, but uh, we've seen people here with medical needs. Riding a horse is great for balance. I think she came all the way from West Virginia somewhere to come over and ride. Uh, it was an older person, probably 30 years old, but she had never had good balance. So a medical doctor was saying riding a horse is good for some things like that. America is full of $10,000, I call them, pasture field ornaments, where the child wants a horse, mom and dad goes and buys one, Three weeks into this, a horse stepped on your foot or threw you off, and then it turns into just a pasture field arm. That's one thing I like about what she's doing here. Bring the child here first. Let them be thrown off one time, realize how much you got to do. Come help put up the hit. Okay. And then maybe they'll change their mind. This isn't really what I want to save mom and dad a whole lot of money and a whole lot of trouble. So if you know if anybody has a child that wants a horse, send them here first. Do their parents a favor and let them make sure this is what they want to do before they get real deep into that animal. Because once you take, once you buy an animal, you owe it to take care of it. And uh, I agree, this is a good <laughs> way to make sure that's what you want to do. And this barn is not just about learning to ride, learning to brush, learning to load a horse on a trailer learning to ride trails, learning to ride an arena, learning to put on a saddle, learning to put on a bridle, learning to bond with your horse, because actually the bond with the horse is what creates the passion with the animal. So you can come here and learn the beginnings of it, but then we can even help you find a horse or even lease a horse, and you create a bond with that animal that is just unbelievable. Again, congratulations. And I uh, appreciate again what you've done here uh, at the facility and, and multiple businesses that you've run here. So.